Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Mangesh and today I am going to cover one lecture on SQL. Why we need to learn SQL? What is the use of SQL? So let's focus on this video guys. Uh, it will help you what is the use of SQL. Uh, on the screen you can see one word that is a database. My first question is what is a database? So database is a space where you will get a chance to save your data. Now I will tell you some example like my mobile. My mobile is also one database and it has a 128 GB space where I can store my data. My data like my pictures, my videos, my songs, messages, contacts, that data I have stored in my mobile. Talking about this laptop, this laptop is also one database where I have stored some PPT files, Excel files, uh, my document files, uh, that data I have stored in this laptop, pics, images, everything. So. Database means it's a collection of data where you can store it easily. Uh, then data has multiple types. Uh, let's move to the uh, another slide. Uh, here you can see some structured data and unstructured data. Now data has multiple types. So what kind of uh, data will go in unstructured one and what kind of data will go in structured one that we will see in the next one here. Some example I have shown on the screen, these are the part of the unstructured data like your Excel files, PPT files, Word files. This is what the unstructured data which you have stored in your laptop. And to deal with that data, you require some software like, for example, if I have an Excel file, then I should have a MS Excel on my laptop. With the help of MS Excel only, I can interact with that files. I can modify it. I can save it. I can create a new file also with the help of Excel. So. PPT. For PPT, we, requ we require PowerPoint. Then for Word, we require MS Word. If it is a VLC, uh, if it is a video file, then we require media player or VLC player to interact with that data. So for such kind of unstructured data, you require some software, some management system to interact with data. So this all uh, stuff comes in a DBMS, database management system. Right hand side, I have given the software. Through that software, you can interact with that kind of data. Now, here, there is no use of SQL for uh, unstructured one. When S uh, SQL will come in the picture to interact with the structured data. Let's move to the next one. Here, you'll get a chance to see what kind of structured data you're going to deal with. Uh, relational database management system. So, this kind of uh, service is providing by Oracle company and Microsoft company. And through SQL, you, you'll get a chance to deal with the data, which is structure one. Structure means, means structure one means what exactly? So it's a relational means uh, it's a table. Your data is stored in a tabular format, and um, to interact with that data, you must be aware of one uh, skills or one language that called as SQL, and you can do any kind of changes in that data. This is centralized data. Through this language, you'll get a chance to interact with this data. So the table you are seeing on the screen, it's a one good example of structured data. SQL stand for structure query language. Some people is calling it as a, a SQL also. SQL why? Because this language is uh, written in uh, English. So SQL stand for structure English query language. So using SQL, you'll get a chance to interact with your database. Okay, structured database. So yes, language, uh, language used for the communication purpose. So database is not going to learn Hindi, English for you. So you need to learn this language to communicate with your database. Structure to interact with the database. There is a proper structure got created, which we need to learn. Query, you can ask questions to the database and language used for the communication purpose. So it is a standard language for relational database management system. Through it, you can easily interact with your database. So in my next video, we will see how to connect to our database and uh, how we will uh, execute the query to get the output from the database that I will show in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.